time to hand out our news def a plus did you know that ohio has tree frogs and that when the weather gets cooler they like to bury themselves in leaf litter to hibernate until spring's warmer temperatures arrive i didn't know it until mrs o'toole's fourth grade class told us all about their impromptu rescue mission this week's news def a plus award goes to mrs o'toole's class for using their research skills to help mother nature like many of you, the students at Pattison like to head outside for some fresh air and a mask break. One morning, the class noticed a frog on the wall of the school. Nearly a week later, the students used their science skills to observe that the frog was still up on the wall. The frog was up there for a long time, they write. We were getting worried he would starve or freeze. That's what Cadence told us. I suggested that we do some research and figure out what kind of frog it was and if it would be okay up on the wall, added Natalie. In their research, they were able to identify the frog as a Cope's gray tree frog and that these frogs, when not in trees or stuck on buildings, hang out in piles of leaves. The class did a great job learning about the frog and habitat. They decided to name it Pancake because it is sort of flat, explained Mrs. O'Toole. With some quick thinking and help from Mr. Meek, the building custodian, they were able to rescue Pancake. After a quick ride in a pencil box back to the woods, Pancake took a few hops and disappeared into a pile of leaves. Through some additional research, the class learned that these amphibious acrobats like to climb up the sides of buildings to catch a tasty winter treat, moths. The class also learned that they can freeze, thaw, and refreeze all winter long. That's crazy. So this week's News Depth A Plus Award goes to Ms. O'Toole's fourth grade class and Mr. Meek at Pattison Elementary School for researching and teaching the News Depth team about Pancake the Gray Tree Frog. Great job using those research skills.